All right, so we're doing another five chess puzzles here because I didn't have time to record anything else. Um, that one knight is under attack on b4. I think we can just take that. Um, because like all of our pieces are pretty far back, I don't see any other even attacks we can do really. Like maybe one with a knight on d4 that gets taken immediately, but I don't see. I'm pretty sure it's just. Are we in check? No. Okay. And we got a trade, right? Okay, why did I get... We're on difficulty medium. I don't know why I got an 869 puzzle, but that's... It's alright. Good to make you kind of, like, second-guess yourself. So our pawns are moving up. It's always hard to remember. I think... They can't stop the pawn, the G file, from promoting, right? Yeah. Alright, wow. Well. That was another lower rated one for some reason, but I'm doing alright. Alright, first move pops out is Queen takes C1, which comes with check. Yeah, the king's gonna have to move on. Is that mate? I just noticed the bishop on g4. You can hear the hitch in my voice. I'm pretty sure that's mate. Because the only fight squares against the queen close proximity are gonna be like knight's moves or farther than two by two. And both those squares are blocked off. There's nothing to interpolate, and you can't capture the queen, of course, so. Yeah, I put it on medium. I don't know why I'm getting solar rated puzzles, but. <clears throat> Anyways, um. The obvious thing is to trade queens, but do we have something better? Like. Because they're going to get a pawn on the E rank that I think is going to have a good chance to advance. Maybe if we put our queen on like E5, hoping to like be able to recapture with her pawn. <coughs> then their D pawn is going to be able to advance, but I think it is a bit, a bit better. Hmm. That pawn's a d4 is kind of important, I think. I guess I was asking for harder puzzles, now I got one. Like, I don't see any, like, obvious tactics. I'd think to, like, try to put my queen back. I said, can you do that, though? Like... Queen b8 threatening queen h8. Yeah, that might actually be it. <clears throat> it makes more sense than anything else I was seeing. Because, yeah, then you get to pick up the bishop, right? Yeah, you do. Alright, and one more puzzle. This is going a lot quicker than these usually go. This might be a short video, but... That's okay. Our knight's under attack. Um, obviously. It's only got one square where it's not. It's only got a five square to run to, but we also have the um idea of taking with our pawn. I don't see what that gets us. I guess these are pawn structure better, theoretically, if they capture, but um, 
that seems a little like ambiguous overall. My thought's always like a mate threat, but I don't see any like good squares next to the king under attack that we can probe at. I'm thinking it's something to do with the knight, because it could theoretically be like a bishop discovered attack, but I don't see that happening. I'm going to... Like, it can't be e4 takes b5, right? I mean... What was I thinking before? Like, b2 and d2 are safe squares for the knight, aren't they? You're probably better off trading first. This can't be right. Nope, it's not. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, that was a bit... Oh, I had the rough idea with the queen capture, but I didn't look hard enough. I, I still have a hard time looking at the more, like, advanced checkmates. I always do five puzzles, so this was a shorter video, but... I'm trying out some different stuff, too, with the editing. Hopefully this video, the audio level's decent on it. And yeah, alright, thanks for watching.